Hey everybody, this is my last video on how to install Ice Cream Sandwich on your HTC Resound. First thing you're going to want to do is put your phone in recovery mode. Um, you can watch my how to install Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery, try to do that. I'll go into recovery mode now. Then you're going to need to download an Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. Uh, you can do that from a number of sites. The one I happen to be using right now is XDA Developers under the Resound Development section. It is a ROM that is very stock Ice Cream Sandwich from HTC. It has Sense 3.6, Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0.3. Follow the links to download the ROM. Uh, I've already downloaded both these files, so I have them right here. Now, once you're in recovery mode, you're going to need to go to mounts and storage and mount USB storage. Uh, it should now pop up on your computer. Um, so copy the two files you downloaded onto your external SD card. Simply copy them over now. Alright, they finally copied over. Go ahead and select Unmount and Clockwork Mod Recovery. Back. Now you're going to want to wipe everything before you do this, and I mean everything. So do the first option, wipe data slash factory reset. And it wiped almost everything we wanted it to wipe, except we also want to format system. So just do those two. Uh, I said everything, and then I said I mean everything, but don't do boot. And we are good. Go ahead and go back. Sorry about the camera getting a little dark there. Install from SD card. Choose from SD card. And there's the ROM we downloaded. Yes, install it. You're not actually going to select the very precisely named ph98img.zip file in Clockwork Mod Recovery. That can only be flashed from Fastboot. And I will show you how to do that right after this installs. Excellent, okay. Go ahead and push the back button. I'm gonna see if there's a reboot to bootloader option. Doesn't seem there is. So we're gonna select reboot system now and immediately after pushing that, select or hold the down, down volume button. Uh, apparently it went straight into Android. Uh, at this point you have two options. Either let the system fully boot. Actually, no, you don't have two options. Um, the boot should fail. Um, and so what you're going to have to do, take off the back case. Um, take off the back case because the kernel installed is the old kernel meant for gingerbread devices. And it won't let an ice cream sandwich ROM boot. So pull out the battery, go into bootloader mode by holding the down volume button, and as it has every time, it will scan for installable zip files, and there you will be able to install the zip by pushing up. Okay, power to reboot. I'm gonna put the case back on. Sorry about the camera moving around so much during this. There we go. Uh, the reason I wanted you to start in recovery mode 
was because it's difficult to get to recovery mode while that ph98image.zip file is on your SD card. If it's on your SD card, when you reboot into the boot bootloader, it won't actually give you a choice. It'll just ask, do you want to apply the update? Yes or no. And either way, you're going to end up rebooting the phone back into Android. So go to recovery mode first, install the ROM, reboot, then go into bootloader, and it'll automatically detect that boot image file actually is what it is. It's installing the kernel. And as you can see, we now boot it up. Um, one immediate change that you might be able to notice is that little guy in the corner. If I can focus him, there, he's a little ice cream sandwich. Okay, if it reboots that first time, don't be worried. That's okay. Um, you're going to go through the setup process. It's loading HTC Sense right now. Um, I know you probably read the disclaimer at the beginning. This is a leaked build. It's early. It's not meant to be out in the public. Um... Personally, I haven't found it to be unstable at all. You should just be well aware that if anything goes wrong using this, it is up to you to fix it. You can leave a comment and I'll try and help you. But you took the risk by installing something that wasn't meant to be in the public. I'm just going through the setup. And then I will go and show you the kernel version and Android version and then I will let you enjoy your ice cream sandwich ROM. All right, uh, first thing, all apps is in the middle now. I've always liked the app drawer being in the middle, not on the far left like it was. Hopefully you'll like this too. Um, if you wanna know more about this ROM, I'll be doing a review on it. You can find that, I'm sure, in the right panel of YouTube, related videos, something like that. Yay. Okay. For the most part, looks the exact same. Uh, menu's different, as you can see. About phone, software information. Android 4.0.3, HTC Sense 3.6. Um, that's about all I've got. One thing that you will probably notice fairly quickly after using Android, or uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, everything is smoother. It has hardware acceleration turned on for most apps. It is fantastic. Um, if you had any troubles actually installing it, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help. Other than that, I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye.